Which races should I enter in Photo Finish Live? Isn't that the million dollar question? Which races you choose to enter is one of the major choices you will make as a stable owner. Generally speaking, your goal, assuming your goal is maximum performance and not say limit testing, is to enter your horses into races that are most suited to their attributes and their preferences. Welcome back to the channel, I am Scuba Doobie and today we have another Photo Finish Live tutorial video. In today's video, if you haven't guessed it, we'll be talking about racing basics. If you are new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button, be sure to hit that like button, and leave a comment below as to how your stable is coming along in Photo Finish Live. Let's jump right in. Let's take a look at an example together. Here we have a three-year-old colt with a grade of B plus named Diver Down. We can also see that their preferences are left dirt firm. The easiest thing to do is click Find Recommended Races. This will bring up a list of races that are only left turning and in the dirt that Diver Down is eligible to enter in. We also know that Diver Down has a track preference of firm or track condition. What that means is we would want to try and avoid entering a race where the weather is going to be rainy or cloudy. As we can see here in the Roadrunner restricted stakes, there's a 100% chance of rain, most likely resulting in a sloppy or muddy track. We know that Diver Down's preference is not catered towards this, so we would want to probably continue looking for a race where we have a better forecast. If we look at the Memorial restricted stakes, for example, we can see there's only a 40% chance of rain. Again, there's a little bit of luck and a little bit of gambling here on what the weather is going to do. There are many other stats that come into play and could become difference makers such as heart and temper, depending on the level of competition that Diver Down faces once the race begins. There are also requirements that we will talk about in a later video when it comes to race restrictions. Another thing to keep in mind is what are the differences between race types. As you can see here, we have things like stakes, handicap stakes, allowance. So what do all these different race types mean? Races in Photo Finish Live can be one of a number of different types. A race type determines how competitive it will be, as well as whether any other special rules will be in effect. The race grades are juvenile, claiming, maiden, allowance, ungraded stakes, handicap stakes, or graded stakes. The list is in order of competition level. More competitive races often have more entrance and bigger purses. Some race types, again, also have special rules, which we will cover in a later video. Let's take a deeper look into these different race types. A claiming race is one in which the horses are all for sale for more or less the same price, i.e. the claiming price, up until shortly before the race begins. The intent of this is to even the race. If a better than class horse is entered with the expectation of an easy purse win, it might be lost for the claiming price, which is likely less than the horse is worth. Someone may wish to claim a horse if they think the horse has not been trained to its fullest potential under another trainer. If a horse is purchased, a track official tags it after the race and it goes to the new owner. A maiden race is one in which the runners have never won a race. Maiden races can be among horses of many different age groups. It's similar to a stakes race in respect that horses all carry similar weights and there are no handicapped penalties. This is the primary method for racing a two-year-old for the first time, although against other two-year-olds. This could also be known as a juvenile race. The three-year-olds also only race against their age in maiden races early in their career. An allowance race is one in which runners run for a higher purse than in a maiden race. These races usually involve conditions such as non-winner of three lifetime. They are usually for a horse which has broken its maiden, but not ready for stakes company or competition. A handicapped race is one in which the runners have been handicapped by carrying more weight, also called an impost, according to their performance in other races. Theoretically, all horses have a chance of being competitive in a race that is correctly handicapped. Stakes races and graded stakes races. The top tier of race types, a stakes race is generally reserved for more elite thoroughbreds. It is called a stakes race in reference to its entry fee structure providing a portion of the prize money. 
not all stakes races are graded. Graded stakes races are races with grade entry restriction. Grades are essentially tiers of horse performances awarded by various official horse racing organizations. The lowest is grade three, although being graded is prestigious itself. The highest grade is grade one. The most prestigious races in the world are grade one stakes races. Now that we've talked about how to enter your horse in a race, as well as the different types of races, let's talk about how to race payouts work. As you can see here, each race has an entry fee as well as a purse. Every race in Photo Finish Live has an entry fee and a race purse to divide among the winners. The purse and the payout is based on the number of players that enter. Before the race starts, the maximum purse is displayed. After the race begins, the actual purse is calculated based on the number of entrants. If there are fewer entrants than expected, the full purse may be smaller than the initial listing. We can again see by clicking on a particular race, the entry fee, and what the final purse was since this race has been completed. Also by clicking on the exclamation point, we can see what the payouts and the purse distribution were. The race payout structure is as follows. First place, 60% of the purse. Second place, approximately 60% of the remainder. Third place, 30% of the remainder. Fourth place, 10% of the remainder. And fifth place, 1% of the purse. If we talk about the above, the remainder of the purse was say 40% and 1% for each entrant after fourth. Now, let's talk a little bit about morning line odds. When you go to view or enter or wager on a race, you're not the only person at the track. In addition to the players, the track has an odds maker who attempts to put the odds on each horse entering the contest. As we can see here, Papa Legacy has a morning line of 37, while Nairobi has a morning line of 6.58. The odds maker is pretty smart, but they aren't perfect. They can only see what you do so they judge horses based on the grade, attributes, and preferences listed. They also check the horse's race history to get a sense of how well they've run before. The more races a horse is run in, the more accurate their odds are. However, the odds maker isn't exactly trying to predict the winner of the race. Morning line odds are a prediction of how the odds maker expect people to bet. If a horse has won recently, won at this distance, or is a fan favorite, the odds maker might favor it. Keep that in mind if you're eyeing odds for your own bet. We hope you enjoyed this video on Photo Finish Live Racing Basics. Be sure if you're new to the channel to click that subscribe button. Make sure you hit that like button and have your notifications turned on. And leave a comment below if you found this video helpful and if you would like to see future content and what topics you would like that content to be about. Until next time, we'll see you on the track.